Today, I'm going to reveal the new deck that is the kryptonite to tier 1 modern strategies. So much so, that if I had a big tournament coming up, I would seriously consider this deck. And over the course of today's video, you're going to see why as we challenge for a 5-0 trophy. Today's list is Mono White Prison, built around the card Suppression Field. Suppression Field is a 2 mana enchantment that makes activated abilities cost 2 more which often means fetch lands and planeswalkers are completely invalidated in the early turns of the game. Your early turns are further developed with two drops, Wall of Omens, and Ambitious Farmhand, which can be blinked with Ephemerate and Flicker Wisp to generate mid-game value. You also have access to Solitude, March of the Otherworldly Light, and Skyclave Apparition to keep opposing threats at bay. But over the course of this league, the card that surprised me the most was Amiria Skyrune, as I'll show you, in this first match. To kick things off, we're popping into the middle of match 1 against 2017 Grixis Control. Up to this point in the game, resources have been traded back and forth with little headway made on either side of the table. My opponent's game plan is predicated on chaining together Snapcaster Mage with Colagon's command and interacting on the stack using both Counterspell and Drown in the Lock. But with little to no pressure, and my graveyard chock full of creatures, inevitability is on my side with Emiria in my deck. Let's jump into my draw step on turn 10. Back to us. Opponent doesn't do anything. This is our best possible draw. We'll play it out. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks their turn. End of turn. Steam vents tapped. Untap. We're going to bring our Wall of Omens back. Draw a card. Play out a land. We'll pass turn. End of turn with Field of Rune down the Watery Grave. Opponent taps for mana. Get another planes. They cast a Snapcaster. Target a Colagon's Command. Colagon's Command, discarded card, two damage to a target, or spawn with a solitude, target the Snapcaster. We'll take two, untap, Myria, bring back a Flicker Wisp. Our opponent scoops, can't beat it. Opening seven's excellent, we'll keep it. Opponent with a Tar Pit, we'll lead on Myria, pass the turn. Opponent Basic Swamp, back to us. Cast out of Plains into a Suppression Field. Opponent considers in response, Mark Tide into the Graveyard, untap, Basic Mountain to an Engineered Explosives for two. Play land. I'm going to sacrifice this farmhand to the explosives just to get an extra planes off curve. Punnet considers in response. Punnet with a watery grave. Just shock it in. Untap. Draw another field of ruin. Play out our planes. Punnet casts a snapcaster mage. End of turn. Target consider. They consider. Draw and lock into the graveyard. Untap. Punnet attacks for two. We'll just take it. We're at 18. Punnet with a sunken ruins. Untap. Drew another planes. Play it out. We'll attack for one. Opponent pops the EE end of turn. Untaps. Let's speed things up once again as another few turns go by without much progress being made on either side. Of note, I have just played my seventh planes with a Myria in play. Opponent casts a Marktide region. Cast out Solitude. Exile the Marktide. Untap. Bring back our Elish Norn. Pretty good value. Play out of planes. Attack for three. Once down at 18, pass turn. They fetch end of turn. Land tapped. Untap. Another land. Nothing from them. Back to us. Amiria. Return our farm hand. Triggers twice. Get a planes. Get a planes. Play to land. We'll attack with the team. And fetches. Blood crypt. Tapped. Terminate the Elish Norn. Sure. Block the solitude. All ephemerate in response. And they bolted in response to that. <laughs> sure. Cast out a flicker wisp. Target the farm hand. Get another planes. When it attacks for two, let it happen. We're gonna bring back Elish Norn. Draw for turn and transform our farmhand. Beats for six. Land. Pass turn. Opponent drown in the lot, targeting our Elish Norn. Sure. Cast a Ragavan. Swing. We're gonna blink our farmhand. Get another planes. Opponent scoops. Opening seven looks great. We'll keep it. Lead on planes. Pass turn. Opponent plays out a Tangled Veil. Play out a Wall of Omens. Draw a card. Amulet of Vigor. Another Tangled Veil. Untap. Abundant Harvest. Lotus Field has been revealed. Based on the cards my opponent just revealed with their Abundant Harvest, it seems they're on an Amulet of Vigor Lotus Field combo with the end game plan of belchering the opponent out. This is a fun one. Little Plains. Skyclave Apparition. We'll hit down the Amulet. Pass turn. Opponent with a Recross the Paths. We'll untap. Swing for two. Play to land. Not sure how this works, but we're going to try it. The Flicker. The Smashing. They lose the land. Okay, that's the way we wanted it. Two men into a Manamorphose for our opponent. Two blue. Lotus Field. Cycle of Vizier. Lotus Field untaps. Three blue mana. 
untap the Lotus Field once more. Let's do it again. And once more, cast down an Ideas Unbound, Dreams Grip, untap it again. This feels like we're getting Belchered. Scoop it up. Opening seven looks excellent. Game two, having access to Damping Sphere and Blossoming Calm in my opening hand means that my opponent's only way to win the game is going to be to have multiple Amulet of Vigors in play. Opponent's on a five card hand, lead on on planes, pass the turn. Opponent with a land, Field of Rune, into a Wall of Omens, draw a card. Opponent with an Amulet, pass turn back, play out our farm hand, get a planes, play it out, pass turn. Opponent with a second Amulet, to a Lotus Field, lots of mana available. 3 mana, cycle, untap, 7 mana, char belcher, we'll respond with blossoming calm, okay, belcher does nothing, rebound the calm, untap, play on another farm hand, yes, planes, play it out, damping sphere, attack for 1, pass turn back, fun with the land, untap, 1 mana, untap, another amulet, 2 mana, untap, drew into a march, start with an attack for 2, we're going to apparition down the belcher, Opponent with a harvest, sure. Name instant. In turn, we're gonna exile one of these amulets. Opponent scoops. Game three. This hand doesn't really do much outside the damping sphere, but we're on the draw. We're gonna keep it. Opponent with an amulet. Play out a land and pass. Another amulet. Nothing else from our opponent. Cast out a planes into a sphere. Opponent's turn. Land untapped. One mana. Four mana into a belcher. From this point, I'm able to eat the belcher with the skyclave apparition take out one of the amulets with a march, and start eating away at my opponent's land, and they have no choice but to scoop. We're on to match three. We'll keep our seven. Opponent mulligans down to five. Bloodstained Mire. Drew into an ephemerate. We'll play our planes. Pass back. Fetch end of turn. Basic swap. Blackleaf Cliffs. Dash in a ragvan. We're going to march it down, discarding another march. Tap. We drew another planes. Play it out into a farmhand. We'll search for our planes. Play out a seer step pathway to another ragvan. We'll untap, play a Field of Rune. Opponent terminates end of turn. Untap, swing with the Ragavan. We're gonna let them connect here. Hit a land off the top. And they play out a Blood Moon. Not very good against us. We'll untap, play out a land. Play out a Flicker Wisp. We'll flicker the treasure. Opponent attacks for two. Representing an Undying spell, it's fine though. There it is, Undying Malice. Flicker Wisp down, Ragavan back. Another ambitious farmhand. Play out our planes, pass turn. Opponent with the attack. No blocks. Solitude down the Ragavan. Opponent with a Pyromancer. Discard a Grief. Elemental into play. Untap. Drew into a Flicker Wisp. Play out a Farmhand. Very appropriately named card. Get ourselves a Plains. Get our Flicker Wisp. Hit the Elemental. Pass turn back. Opponent plays out a land. No attacks. Back to us. Play out our Plains. Swing for three. Opponent's turn. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And attacks for two. I'll block. Opponent with a Feign Death. We'll ephemerate our Solitude. Solitude down. The Pyromancer, rebound targeting the Solitude, hit the Goblin, drew another Ephemerate, attack for four, play land, pass turn, Fable up to two, choose to keep their card, cast a Fury, it's not going to be as successful as they hope. We're going to Ephemerate our Flicker Wisp, Flicker Wisp is going to target our Solitude, and they're going to get our Farmhand. Solitude back into play, hit the Fury. We will not rebound the Ephemerate, back to our turn, Flicker Wisp in hand, attack for six, when it untaps, Fable flips. Fatal push our Flicker Wisp, untap. We're going to Flicker Wisp our Solitude, yield through the turn. And with a Pyromancer, I could draw. Draw two, back to us. Suppression Field doesn't do much. Attack for three, cast out the Suppression Field. Opponent's turn. Another Fable, attack for two with the Pyromancer, into a Void Walker. Start with a Wall of Omens, draw a card. Another Solitude, pretty good. The Wall of Omens allows me to hold down the fort, and a second Solitude gives me the insurance for whatever threat I need to answer, whether it's the Voidwalker or Reflection Token. I wind up using the Solitude on the Voidwalker and then draw into an Ephemerate, while continuing to chip away at their life with Flicker Wisp. Drawing into my Elish Norn might have been the last straw for my opponent. Attack for three. Play out an Elish Norn. Your turn. Playing with a Kroxa. Drew a March. Pretty good. March the Kroxa. Swing with the team. Opponent's down three, and we're up a game. All right, we'll keep our seven. Our opponent's mulliganing. Opponent keeps their six. Black Leap Cliffs, Thoughtseize. Hallowed Moonlight down. Drew a Plains, play out our Armyria, pass turn. Opponent of the Swamp, passes back. Play land, pass turn. It's a good old fashioned draw go. Opponent of the Void Walker, into a Grief, discarding a Colagon's Command. Take the Elish Norn. Drew into a Sanctifier, a Skyclave, hit the Void Walker. Opponent with the third land, fetch. Blood Crypt, Season Pyro. 
discard a fury. Second Amiria. We'll play it a land into a sanctifier. Pass back. As you would expect against Black Red Scam, an unanswered Sanctifier in Vec and play can stop their game plan dead in its tracks. Sanctifier stalled the board until I was able to open the game wide up a few turns later. Untap. Drew into a Solitude. Exile the Black Leap Cliffs. Get another Plains. We'll pass turn back. Put in a tax for two. We'll take it. Cast out Solitude end of turn. Exile the Ragvan. Untap. Exile the Pyromancer. Swing for five. Cast out a Flicker Wisp. Wisp the Solitude. Feels like we're running away with this game. Solitude back in, exile the illusion. Pound scoops, run the play, we'll take it. Can't keep this seven, we'll mulligan. Six looks good, we'll keep it. Get rid of an ephemerate, opponent's on five. Cast an Amiria, pass the turn. Opponent with a fetch land, back to us. Play a planes into a suppression field. Opponent fetches in response, the right move. Get a Jet Mirror's Garden, basic mountain, untap. Another suppression field. Opponent does nothing, back to us. Based on the way this game developed, it's likely my opponent was holding a Renin 6 in hand but was unable to use it due to the suppression field tax. For this reason, they stalled on two lands for the next five turns. Get another planes. Opponent finally hits their third land. Tapped. Untap. Play land. Attack for four. They untap. Leyline binding. And they hit a suppression field. We'll untap. Draw a field of rune. Play out of planes. Attack for four. They untap. Land number four. They shock. We'll untap. Play land. Attack for four, opponent's down to five. Another binding, end of turn. Take my other suppression field. Untap. They cast a Teferi. Exile a ley line. Opponent scoops. We'll try this. Opponent Arid Mesa pass. Play an Amiria. Pass turn. Scalding Tarn. Back to us. Play on a planes. Opponent fetches. Another non basic. Another try on. They untap. Basic mountain. Back to us. Play out a demolition field. Because my opponent has the only basic land in their deck in play, I know I have free reign over the next few turns to blow up their lands without consequence. Got another basic. Play out our Wall of Omens. Draw a card. Put it with an Aaron Mesa. They fetch. Play out a Fable. Untap. We're going to cast out an Elish Norn. We'll pass turn. If it wasn't apparent, Elish Norn is a trump card against the creativity strategy. She not only shuts off Archon of Cruelty's Enter the Battlefield trigger, but also stops Dwarven Mine and Leyline Binding as well. My opponent's inability to answer the Praetor, along with plentiful removal, spelled their demise. We're 4-0. We call this No Fun Allowed. Opening 7's great, we're going to keep it. Opponent mulligans to 6. Start on our Myria, pass the turn. Opponent with a Besage you into an Ignoble. We're going to cast out a Suppression Field, pass the turn. Opponent with a Geist, Golgari Rot Farm, tag for 2. Drew an Elish Norn, or march down the Ignoble, pass turn back. Opponent swings for 2, back to us. Cast a Flicker Wisp, target the Rot Farm. I'm able to repeat the same process again the next turn with Flicker Wisp, severely stifling my opponent's ability to develop their board state. This is a very clear example of a drawback for these Yawgmoth decks switching over to Arboreal Grazer. Untap, another Plains, attack for six, Plains, Hellish Norn. Opponent's turn, Peatland, Yawgmoth. Draw a Field of Rune, play that out, attack with the team. Opponent takes a hit for 10. Field of Rune down the, the Rot Farm. We'll get a Plains. Pass turn back. Opponent plays out a land. Game two. We'll keep our seven. Opponent with a Peat land into a bird. Drew a Plains. Play out our Amiria. We'll pass turn. Opponent plays out a Colony Garden into an Ignoble. Followed up with the Thoughtseize. And they take one of our Solitudes. Untap. Drew a March. Exile the Ignoble. Pass turn back. Twilight Mirror. Three mana. Evo. Get a Grist. Plus the Grist. Insect into play. Another Thoughtseize. Another Solitude down. Drew another land. Not really what we're looking for. Play a land. Play a farmhand. Trigger. Get a Plains. Pass turn. Wall of Roots. Grist. Land. Opponent's Hellbent. Take a hit for one. We're going to speed things up over the next couple of turns as I flooded out hard and got run over by my opponent's Grist and Yawgmoth for the remainder of the game. We're on to game three with a 5-0 on the line. Game three will take the play. Opening seven looks good. We'll keep it. Opponent Mulligan down to six. Lead on our Amiria. Opponent leads Twilight Mirror. Drew a Flicker Wisp. Play a land, pass turn. Opponent plays Wall of Roots. Cycle the Moonlight. Untap. Play out Demolition Field. March the Wall. Opponent with another Twilight Mirror. Another Wall. Into a Bird. Drew into our third Flicker Wisp. There's Solitude. And we'll Ephemerate. Pass turn back. We will not cast our Ephemerate again. Drew into a Skyclave. Attack for three. Opponent flashes in an Endurance. Not anticipating that endurance was a huge mistake that may wind up costing me the game. 
Opponent clears out the Besaju we knew about. It's going to be a Yawgmoth. Untap. Drew a land. Play a land. Attack for six. Opponent's down 12. Skycleave. Apparition. We eat the Yawgmoth. Opponent eats our Flicker Wisps. Yawg is gone. Play a land. Geist. Yawg. Hit for three. We're down to 17. Drew into a Suppression Field. Not terrible. Gonna Field of Ruin down the Rot Farm. Cast out a Suppression Field. Besage you down my Amiria in response. We'll get another Plains. One with a Young Wolf into a Hepatra. Kill my Skyclave. Get a Snake and a 4 4. Pretty good. Attack for 5. Down to 12. Untap. Play out the Elish Norn. Pass the turn back. Put it on taps. Cord for 2. Get a Blood Artist. Force a Vigor. And they win the game. And as is often the case on this channel, Yogmoth gets the last laugh. Be sure to subscribe. I will see you again soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs>